Hi, welcome to Shit That Goes On In Our Heads. My name is G-Rex. And I'm Dirty Skittles. And the purpose of this podcast is to make you laugh your ass off for 30 minutes a day, once a week. And I need to start that over again. No, I loved it. Fuck me. I loved it. I'm laughing at myself because I sounded like a sex phone operator. I'm like, and I'm <laughs> Dirty Skittles. <laughs> Take five. The purpose of this podcast is to make you laugh for 30 minutes once a week and get out of your own headspace. Yeah, we all need to break sometimes, right? My head's a scary place. I don't want to be in there for too long. Yep. <laughs> the reason that we decided to do this podcast is um, I went through a really serious bout of depression, and the only way I could get out of my own headspace was to laugh. And, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So I can look back and laugh at some of the shit that's happened to me and then give you some really good resources if you get in the same position as I did on how to get out of it. Yeah, I agree. And I would like to say I'm probably one of the people that made you laugh. But you also make me laugh when I'm depressed, stuck in my head, needing to get out of it. (laughs) You might not want to drive while you're listening to this podcast, because if you do laugh so hard that you wet your pants, I don't know how you're going to explain that to the police when you crash your car. Yeah, also don't listen to this without headphones if you're working, because we swear a lot. Sometimes we tell inappropriate stories, but we try to wrap it up with like a positive message. And our tagline for every episode will be, it's okay to be not okay, but please talk to someone. Yeah. So G-Rex, you want to tell people how you got your name of G-Rex? Yes. So my... My name is a playoff of T-Rex. I am five foot nothing. I have very <laughs> short arms. In order for me to reach anything, I have to have a step stool and a grabber. So I just go by G-Rex. <laughs> I, uh, I, I got dirty Skittles working at Circuit City. Do you remember that store? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, really embarrassing. But I used to work at Circuit City and uh, was a salesperson and had to sell computer stuff which I knew nothing about to people who knew about computer stuff anyways long story I was eating skittles dropped them on the floor and thought it's fine just dust it off I still needed the sugar of the snack <laughs> and so that's uh that's how dirty skittles was born and uh yeah it's like my stage name I use it for karaoke little rap sessions dirty skittles Yeah, G-Rex for me. I mean, that's what everybody calls me, or grandma, but G-Rex is better. Yeah, yeah. And we met each other through, um, for work, and uh, we start every day with with laughter. Yeah. Because it's the only way to get through our really tough jobs. Yeah, and G-Rex is basically wrapping up her stint in uh, the place we currently work at, which is pretty sad for me because, you know, when I'm having a mental breakdown, I need to get out of my head. And now that you're leaving, I mean, shit, the fuck? No, just kidding. I'll be fine. (laughs) We need to get you like a superhero light that I can flash from Florida. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm leaving my job for 15 years. And uh, that added to a bout of depression. And um, it's kind of bittersweet. But uh, these these guys just think that they're not going to be able to reach me. But you know what? Tune in once a week. You're going to hear my voice. I'm going to make you laugh. That's really stupid shit that's happened. And you'll walk away feeling much better. Yeah. Yeah, this started off as uh, literally middle of a horrible, stressful day. We were just talking, and it kind of came up as like a joke, like, oh, this would be really funny if we recorded some of the shit that we say. And uh, an idea was born. Fuck yes, we're doing this. Because we also used to joke that, like, we need a plan B, right? Like if, if this career thing doesn't really work out, what's plan B? And, and I'm very good with like coming up with ideas, or at least I think so. I'm also a Leo, so I think I'm good at everything. <laughs> but um, I, I was trying to do a, a she-shack. What was it? She-shack bourbon? She-shack whiskey? It was she, she-shack bourbon. Yeah, because yeah. she's got maple trees. Uh, she didn't take me up on that idea. But uh, once she said we should record this, I was like, yes. Well, because I didn't want to blow up my garage. i mean i don't know what it takes to make uh, bourbon but i just felt like you had all the resources (laughs) and i could reap the benefits 
I think it's illegal in the state of New York to do that too. So, I mean, um, yeah, we're here to make people laugh. Um, I love laughing. It helps me with my depression. Um, it's as beneficial as therapy and the gym. And you know what? If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Yeah. Some of the shit I've been through, it makes me laugh. Now, it didn't make me laugh a couple of months ago, but it makes me laugh now. Yeah. I mean, healing, growth, time. Also, come to think of it, like, if you're listening to this and you're going through something right now, you're not alone. You could hear us and know that we're kind of with you on this. So, I mean, it helped the laughter, having a support system, having good friends to kind of talk to. Um, we can we can be that for you as well. We need we need like a mailbox. Yeah, we have we have an email address. Um, we're working on a Facebook page and an Instagram page. Yeah. And uh, we have a millennial working on our web page for us because not everybody has Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. But we'll let, be able to list out all our resources there and um, have a forum. And you guys can give us suggestions of what other crazy shit has happened. And um, <clears throat> hope to make you guys all laugh. Yeah. So what can people look forward to hearing from us? I mean, I'll, I'll throw in the my occasional crazy stories that will make you laugh, hopefully. But we probably will at some point get guests on that would actually be helpful professionals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we bring the jokes and the stories, <laughs> but that's not all this is going to be. You know, we're going to try to do a nice balance of laughter, but self-help as well. Yeah, we, um, we're not really uh, therapists in uh, real life. We just play one on podcasts. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, between the two of us, we have probably... 90 years of experience um and yeah. what's nice is that you know we have a great balance here even though we're both leos so we can bring uh, a yeah. different flavor into this <clears throat> and we have great we have fun stuff like travel trips yeah we mom have, life <laughs> <laughs> do, do squirrels have dicks oh yeah just random literally oh damn <laughs> what you guys can see is my husband is fixing my microphone because it keeps falling down and I'm slowly just sinking lower and lower into my stomach. And uh, he's trying to fix that for me. And he almost whacked me in the face with his fucking microphone. Um, yeah, but random shit that goes on in our heads. Literally, right? Between self-help and squirrel dicks. And on any given day, we have like 5,000 tabs of bullshit going on in our head. Yeah. So each one that comes out, another new idea comes in. You know, we're going to talk about our spouses and things that they've done. They shouldn't listen. They're just. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just as messed up as we are. And, um, you know, talk about menopause and, you know, those intrusive thoughts that come into your head. Yeah. You, know, you would do that shit when you're 20. But, you know, when you're 50 or 60, you're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. And maybe even like things that we found helpful to kind of get out of negative head spaces yeah like going to the gym yeah kudos to you bud going to the gym getting therapy laughing yeah therapy we're huge therapy advocates huge and you know getting out of your own head space well whether that means just walking away or talking to a friend or you know watching a funny clip on youtube anything because you take that 30 minutes a day and you're laughing you feel freer because your serotonin's up now. Your endorphins are good. Yeah. Um, you know, the people that we've talked to that we've done a, a little sample of with were like, um, I needed to change my pants before I made dinner. <laughs> and I'm never fucking talking to you again without a pad on. So, you know, it served its purpose. We look forward to meeting you and entertaining you once a week with the crazy shit that goes on in our head. And, um, Please, you know, just uh, leave your comments out on our Facebook page or Instagram page with any, like, ideas or uh, crazy shit you'd like to hear about. We're happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs>